Thank you very much, Mr. Edward, for those, um, that introduction. Now, can you hear back? Because I don't want to waste my time. <laughs> right. Now, before we start, I want to warn you about three things. First of all, uh, this uh, voyage, which I'm going to tell you about, it took four months and it included uh, visiting no less than 20 different islands, continents, or colonies. And uh, even if you were in a jet, I don't think you'd get around the world in less than about 48 hours. And uh, this morning, you're going to do it in 60 minutes. So as you can imagine, it's going to be a bit of a rush. Now, the second thing is that I'm going to show you some films and photographs. And these are both in color and in black and white. <coughs> You'll find that the films are rather disjointed because I've only extracted, so to speak, particular bits out of films to illustrate whatever it is I wanted to show. And also the films and the photographs vary very much in quality uh, because, again, uh, I've only selected them uh, to illustrate what I'm talking about and not for their technical uh, excellence or because of their beauty. Now, the, um, <laughs> I better also say they're not all mine. <coughs> I don't think I'll tell you which are mine, <laughs> but if you ever see a very bad one, you'll know. Now, the third thing I want to warn you about is that I've never given a Lenten lecture before. Uh, it's, um, so I really don't quite know what's going to happen. And uh, I hope you had a good breakfast this morning because we may not be through until about tea time this evening. <laughs> <coughs> now, the plan of the thing is roughly this. I don't think there's any point in my talking about these places unless you know more or less where they are. So I've included a considerable number of track chart showing how we got from one place to another, and also maps of the actual places, so that you can see, because some of these small islands, even if you look at your atlas, you'll only find there are a dot in the ocean. Well, they have, in fact, got a shape, as you'll see. Now, um, when we get to each place, I'll try and describe what I think is, will probably interest you most about it. I can't say everything about the place, and in some cases, I, I won't necessarily describe what it is they they do because it may not be frightfully interesting. In any case, I've got to condense it somehow or other. So now if we can uh, turn these lights out and have the first slide, we get on with the business. <coughs> well, now there you see the, the, the map of the world showing the complete... There's Mombasa on the east coast of Africa, and we crossed the, the Seychelles, which are there. And these are the Maldive Islands here. Uh, you'll see a bit of a film about that. Then we stop there for a picnic, and then on to Ceylon. A view of Victoria, and uh, shows what the sort of countryside is like. That, that's well, then after, from there, we went on, as I told you, to the Maldives. But on the way, um, it happened to be Trafalgar Day, and this thing <coughs> came on board. And so um, we, called it, we called him Horatio. <laughs> well, <laughs> we put a ring on him and let him go again. But um, I must admit, I still don't know what sort of bird he is. And from there, that was the first um, well, I didn't explain that we crossed the equator first in Africa on the way down to Mombasa, and now going back up to Ceylon, we crossed right there. We had a bit of time in hand, so we thought we'd stop and have a picnic. And I'm going to show you some rather bad film of this picnic, just to show you we weren't working all the time. Uh, there's the beach, a rather good uh, coral beach. You can see the party cooking over there, some smoke. That was almost the full extent of the island, just those few palms. And that in the, in the background, uh, there, there's another of the, these islands. They're quite flat. And with a coral reef around the edge, there are the boats, there's our beach. The chap was chased out of the water there by a shark. I think some garlic going in, by the way. And this shows the effect of the coral reef, you see. 
Those are in fact the performers, not the spectators. <laughs> and then we went up to um, Candy, which is in the middle of uh, um, the island, which used to be the ancient capital. And these are the very famous Candy dancers. Uh, that is white, that sort of sheet thing there. And that's all brass. And they wear tinkling things around their ankles, and of course all this rattles like anything, and their hats are silver, and they've got little sort of medals all the way around the edge there. And of course the whole thing tinkles like now, and every time they stamp, the, the ankle things tinkle. And, and this is a chap who, that's all the sort of accompaniment they have. There's another picture of them. They put on a very good show. And now the, 